So you get into a timeshare. And you may love your timeshare. Unfortunately for many people, there comes a time where the timeshare doesn't fit in your life anymore. And then you go to try to unload it, and it turns out there is no market to buy your timeshare. In fact, that's why I call timeshares a defective product. Because even if you love your timeshare, eventually your life circumstances change. Something happens, maybe you hate it up front, and you're like, why did I buy this thing? And then you're stuck with it because there is no viable secondary market for timeshares. People desperate to get out of the timeshare, though, are susceptible to the con artists that run timeshare resale services that say, oh, yeah, we're going to get all this money for you for your timeshare. Uh, you're going to be amazed. I mean, we've got buyers right now who so want your weeks that we can even make a profit for you. All you have to do is pay us X number of dollars up front. Fish hook and mouth, they got you. They reel you in, and then they're gone with the wind. So of the things you need to hear that is just beyond belief, it's now an organized crime activity according to the U.S. Treasury Department. Yes, criminal rings have decided it's so lucrative to cheat people by pretending that they can get your timeshare resold that is valuable enough that con artists from organized crime are doing this as an activity. Listen to this. One of the wings of a Mexican cartel, drug cartel, is now doing this as a side activity. I mean, wow. I mean, illegal drugs are obviously a very profitable enterprise for the criminal rings involved in it. And they've decided that there's even more profit to be made and timeshare resale scams? You want any more proof how close you are to having your problem compounded by believing somebody who says, hey, pay us this money. We're going to get you top dollar for your timeshare. What's the real truth? You're probably going to have to pay somebody to take over your week. Because most timeshares, actually, from the second you buy them, have a negative market value. You pay ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars for that week. Usually, that timeshare isn't worth even zero dollars. It's worth a negative amount because of the ongoing obligations that come with it. The important thing is if you ever think you want to buy a timeshare, you've heard a pitch and you're excited about it, take over somebody's timeshare where they pay you potentially thousands of dollars just to take over their obligation instead of being the one who pays ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to buy one. Or go use your timeshare. And while you're there, the likeliest people to be willing to take over your week it's going to be somebody who's there enjoying themselves. And they love the place. And you sell it to them for a dollar or a penny, or you pay them to take it over just to end that ongoing perpetual financial obligation. 